Once your cat has successfully gone to the mat and gotten all four paws on the mat, every time you can start adding the verbal command mat when you ask them to go to the mat. Mat. Good girl. Good job, Satu. One more time. Mat. Good job. There you go. The same rule applies for teaching to target a stool. <laughs> or they go under the stool. Satu. Come here, lady. Stool. Come on. Good girl. You don't want to go get it? Go get it. I always say, this is not a German Shepherd. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> the cats have a mind of their own. Set two. Stool. Good job. Come on. Go get it. No? You don't like it? Do you want something different? You getting tired of those? You want a greenie? It's okay to change up the food reward in the session. You gotta find what motivates your cat. Find out what's their currency. Stool. Good job. Good job. Remove the stool. Reintroduce the stool. Set two. Stool. Good job. Go on. Good girl. Set two. Stool. Now, we're going to incorporate a little pilling time. Yeah. Let's face the camera. Good girl. Set two. Got a grooming. Has to happen. Got a grooming. Do one other thing while we've got you. This will be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. This. Okay. A little farther apart. Okay. Tattoo. Cats have to groom themselves a lot, especially with the wet food rewards. Huh. Good girl! Huh. Good girl! Wow! So great! Such a good job, lady! Here! Good girl! Safe sets. Hop. Great job. And that's one of the ways that you can use a click stick. So when you teach your cat to use a click stick, it can become a tool that allows you to get them to go the places you want them to go, like in their cat carrier. So once you've taught your cat to target the click stick, you place the click stick in the cat carrier, and then the cat walks into the carrier to target the click stick and gets a click and a reward. So a very helpful tool in the basic foundation clicker training behaviors. Great job, lady. Great job.